If you're trying to earn customer loyalty, it's almost certain that at some point you've toyed with the idea of embedding customer feedback metrics in the goals of your frontline employees. If you're not careful though, that can result in really, really bad behavior. I think most of us have experienced this. You go to the auto dealer, you get service on your car, and you're coming out and the dealer says, by the way, you're going to get a survey. And on that survey, there's going to be a question. On this question, unless you give us a 10, it's a failing grade. So tell me now what I can do to improve things. In every case, it undermines your trust and faith in that dealer. And frankly, for me, I know that it actually guarantees that I won't give them a 10. More important, it's evidence that that dealer, that that person is focused on the score, not on earning my loyalty. So how do you avoid that same situation in your own company? How do you avoid having your employees focused so much on the score that they lose sight of the overall mission? First, make sure that your mission explicitly talks about the kinds of things you aspire to with customers. In some companies, they talk about the golden rule. At Apple, they talk about enriching lives. Second, give people feedback, customer feedback, in a timely way. Make it so soon after a customer interaction that they can remember that interaction and figure out what they did to create that outcome. Third, don't embed feedback metrics or improvement on feedback metrics into people's incentive pay until you've had the metrics in place for a long time and they've learned to trust them, they've learned what they can do to impact them, and they've learned that you are going to help them improve as opposed to merely evaluate them on those metrics. If you do that, you'll keep your employees focused on learning, improving, and innovating on behalf of customers instead of defending themselves and trying to beg their customers for a better score. Thank you.